I cried in my appointment. That's all I'm gonna say. Hello, welcome back. So today's video is a little different. So today I'm seeing a naturopath and I have heard good things about people seeing naturopaths, so I thought might as well give it a try. This is a part of my whole acne transformation, skin health kind of journey that I've been taking you on in these videos and also a lot more on Instagram. So if you don't know, I'm not gonna go through the whole story of my acne to try and get rid of my acne. I have done a lot of like toxic things like using really bad like St. Ives scrub back in the days, being very harsh with my skin, picking up my skin, all of that. I've also tried some prescription stuff. I was on antibiotics at one point. I've tried different prescriptions. I have tried different facials and treatments to my face, different skincare, all the stuff that I've tried, I didn't try for like a week and give up on it. Like these were things I tried to implement in my routine and I was very consistent with them, saw no difference. So I wanna get to the bottom of it as much as I can. So today is like a part of that journey. I have been very consistent with my facials, which and although I've seen the texture and kind of quality of my skin improve there's still persistent acne like for example look at this mess right now it's these really bad red pimples that are my chin is okay this side of my face is looking so good i don't know if it's focusing or not i was like putting my moisturizer this morning and it went on so smoothly so i don't want to get too happy that this part of my face is really good right now because i know it can easily just go downhill in the next few hours. It's Yana editing here right now. And Yana back then was right because the part of my skin that was so good, it was like this side here. I now have this like painful to the touch, really bad under the skin pimple and two here that are starting to form to the touch. Like they kind of hurt. So I was right. I'm so sick of this, you guys. <sighs> I'm just so tired of having these persistent things popping up on my skin. And it's it's been really, really hard. I have cried a lot. I have um, not avoided leaving the house because of my acne. I have tried so many different things. And yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. One thing I wanna say is like, what I'm most worried about in this journey is eliminating food. For me, real talk, um, with my background, with my eating disorder, and really trying to get back on track with honestly like fueling myself and being healthy and eating things in moderation and healing my relationship with food has been really hard it's honestly this journey started literally 11 years ago and i'm still i'm still i'm still struggling so for me eliminating foods like eliminating dairy eliminating gluten for me that is really 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 hard to do for that point i'd rather have acne than cut out dairy i um, anyway, so I'm really scared of being told to cut out things, eliminate things, so we'll see how that goes. Quite the, quite the ramble, I'm so sorry, I do need to go now. My whole thing with like, getting better for myself and getting in a healthy routine for myself, I'm really hoping it reflects on my skin, but I'll follow up with you once I'm done. A few hours later. Naturopath follow up, so I cried in my appointment, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm jokes. I mean, I did cry, but I'm gonna elaborate. So. My appointment was an hour long. How it started off was she was like, okay, like, what are you here for? I believe you're here for your acne. I'm like, yes, you're right. Cause I filled out a form. So she had an idea of kind of like what I was there for. She was like, okay, well tell me more about your acne. And I was like, girl, I have so much to fill you in on. So I was like, here's kind of my story with my food and everything like that, just to give you a background. And then I talked to her about when I first started getting really bad acne. Kind of told her about the antibiotics I was on. I told her about what I do now, my facials, treatments, like everything. It was a very, very, very good conversation. We talked about my diet. We talked about a lot of different things. She was like, do you feel better about your diet now given what you've been through in the past? And that's kind of when I started crying because I was like, I have come a long way. I do feel really good. This is still, you know, an ongoing journey, but I do feel better from what I was before. And I feel a lot better in my skin and myself and my routine. Um, and first thing she said was like, I don't think this is a diet thing. You eat very balanced, which I try to do. Like I, she was just like, I don't think that's the problem. The first thing I asked her was like, do you think I should cut out dairy? And she was like, knowing your past with restriction and your eating disorder, I don't think cutting out dairy or cutting out a whole group, food group is the best thing to do. She was like, that would be very, very like last resort. There's a lot of things we can do beforehand. So her whole thing, which I really appreciate and I love, is about adding things to your life and your diet, not really taking away. So yeah, we had a really, really long conversation and she checked like my stomach. She put like 
did some like pressing stuff on it. She heard my heart, my lungs, and everything looked good. She, did, she took my blood pressure, she took uh, my temperature, she took my something else. And she was also like, checking around my thyroid and she noticed that my thyroid, she was like, oh, I can feel your thyroid, which isn't bad, it's not a bad thing. She could tell I was getting really anxious. She's like, don't worry, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but I feel it more than I feel it on some other people, so it's something we'll test. So. We talked for about an hour and the next steps we decided were to add two supplements to my current supplement routine. Her current supplement routine, she said it works really well. Like she said, there's nothing, like, she said I can keep doing what I'm doing. I take vitamin D, C, magnesium, and a probiotic every single day. Um, I'm gonna start taking a symbiotic instead of a probiotic. So we added two that I have here, I'll show you. And then she said, I told her I'm going to see my doctor next week and then I'm planning to get some blood work done. And she talked about me getting specific things tested in my blood that was really hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. First of all, we're gonna be testing my testosterone and then DHEA sulfate. We're going to be uh, testing my cortisol. We're gonna get my glucose tested, hemoglobin A1C, insulin, vitamin D, TSH, thyroglobin, thyroglobulin antibody and thyroperoxidase antibody. So testing the thyroid, testing glucose, sugar, insulin resistance, all of that, testing um, certain hormones, testing will be done fasting before 10 a.m. And she said to follow up after I get the test done. Um, this is called candy bactin. She told me to take two, she, t she took me to take one capsule twice daily. This is what it is. So this is, I believe I'm taking this for my gut. I forgot exactly for what it was. It was a lot of words in that conversation. And the second thing I'm taking, it's called NAC and for lung health. So this is it. I'm adding these two supplements to my rotation. Um, and then we also discussed a few other things. I literally have my laptop because she like took notes and like sent it all to me. I told her about the magnesium I take and she said to finish up the bottle, but I should be taking magnesium glycinate next. So once I finish the supplements I have now, I'm gonna buy that magnesium instead of the one I have now. She said the one I have now, one of the three things that are in it are really hard to absorb in your body. And I was like, should I just throw it out? She's like, no, like I don't think you should throw it out. That's a waste, like definitely you can finish it. There's no harm, but um, change it up once you're done. So for nutrition, we talked about, she was like, nutrition, you seem to be eating good. You're working your relationship with your food. Um, she told me to follow the Harvard, the Harvard Healthy Plate as a guide, which is honestly kind of what I follow. Almost half your plate is vegetables, a little bit of fruit, and then you have your carbs, your protein, um, and then healthy fats. And she was like, whatever's in those quadrants, I don't really care as long as your you know meals look like that and they're balanced, which makes sense for like how I eat now because I try to have a lot of vegetables in my food. I eat a lot of fruits and healthy fats and just kind of keeping that up. She also told me to take uh, flax seeds, so two tablespoons a day. So I'm going to buy purely just flax seed and add that to my oatmeal, add that to my smoothie. And then third, which is what I started doing recently, um, and I love that she said this, I guess it is true, TikTok taught me this, spearmint tea. I believe it's good for your hormones. I don't know exactly, I'm not a professional, but I have been taking, I've been drinking spearmint tea every single day in the morning. She told me to do three cups a day. So spearmint tea, those are the kind of things. So it's very easy because I'm adding in supplements. I am um, adding in flaxseed and I'm keeping an eye out on my diet to make sure it follows that guide. And just in general, I'm eating, uh, she said mainly whole foods, whether you follow 80-20 rule or 90-10, just to make sure that most of the food you're eating is whole foods, not processed. She was like, I'm not gonna tell you to eat a certain way because there's no way to eat perfectly. Obviously I have to like do that for a while to see any results. So, but yeah, that's kind of like, the summary, all I'm going to say is for the naturopath, at least my naturopath, my experience was really, really good. She was honestly, how I would define her as like a breath of fresh air. She listened very attentively. Honestly, felt like therapy at one point because I was just crying and sharing everything related to the topic. I wasn't just like oversharing. Um, and she was very understanding. She, she made me feel very comfortable. And she was like, wow, you seem to have come a long way. I'm very proud of you. Um, and she made me feel very comfortable. Otherwise, yeah, we'll see kind of what's next. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I just got home, so I need to, I wanna go to the gym. I've been procrastinating it all day. I wanna say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I have a lot of sit down videos planned out. I have a lot of vlogs coming, but okay, I'm gonna go. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, it'll be better. Okay, thank you for watching.